Hello everyone, and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video. And in this video, I will be counting down my favorite, top 10 favorite emotes in the game right now. I have been playing this game for over 3 years, and the one thing that keeps surprising me are the new emotes that I keep finding out about. And some of these emotes are actually and quite surprisingly really affordable on the GTN. And I think the reason why that's the case is because there are so many emotes in the game, and like myself, not a lot of people know about their existence. So there isn't much of a market for a certain emote, resulting in a much lower price than what it's actually worth, or at least what I think it's actually worth. And in this video, I'll be showcasing the 10 best emotes in my opinion. Now keep in mind, this is just what I think. Let me know which emote is your favorite in the comments. My list does not only incorporate the visual effects of the emote, but also the price that it sells for on the GTN on the Harbinger server. And uh, these are prices that I periodically see because these emotes also drop a ton at a Grand Chance Cube. So there's almost always, uh, you know, some emotes available on the, on the GTN. All right, let's go on into number 10. And this one is going to be Superflex. And the reason this makes the list is basically because of its price. Time and time again, this emote sells for almost nothing on the GTN. And this time, it's only up for a measly 70,000 credits, even though there is only one available. So as you guys can see, you know, this guy could have listed it up for 20 million if he wanted to, but he already knows that this thing is not going to sell for that high of a price. Now, the other reason I love this emote is because of the awesome animation that shows up at the end where a nice golden flare erupts from the character. It's also a really nice emote for Sith, Jedi, and Troopers. It goes pretty well with their character. You know, super flexing is probably something they would actually do. Going on into number 9, we have Menace. Once again, this makes the list because of its price. This sells for even less than the Superflex emote, and right now there are only a few up on the GTN for 40,000 credits. Once again, a really nice red flare this time erupts from your arm, and uh, the little bit of text that shows up in the screen is also pretty cool. But um, one downside of this emote is that it's really short and you have to kind of keep typing it in the chat in order to restart the visual effect. So nonetheless, its price and visual effects combined makes it a nice emote to have in your arsenal, even though it's not quite the best. Now number 8 is Sing. This emote is probably one of the coolest, but the reason why it's so low on the list is because oftentimes it isn't available on GTN because it is a, a you know a cartel market exclusive item and it sells for 200 cartel coins so there're not many people going and buying it and putting it up on the GTN. So the price is a little high because you're going to have to end up paying 200 cartel coins for it, but the visual effects of the emote more than compensates for it. Not only does like a mic appear in your hands, but the character really seems to get into it. He moves around, bobs his head, even engages the audience. So it would be it would have been awesome if he actually made a sound or something like that, but that's probably too much to ask for. There's nothing like just like just randomly popping into song as you're waiting for uh, a PvP pop or a group finder pop on the fleet. Uh, number seven is another another kind of dance emote. Is it is going to be the waltz. Now this is one of my favorite dance emotes. It isn't too flashy or impressive, but I really like its simplicity. It just makes your character look super dignified, and once again, it also doesn't sell for too much on the GTN, getting a little bit into the pricier range, but still super affordable for the majority of people in the game. Going on into number 6, we have Clue and Xantha. Now these are two separate emotes, but I've kind of thrown them into one because they're basically the same thing. Um, they both sell for around the 400 to 600k range, but similar to the Sing emote, the reason I love this is because the character really seems to get into the song, just the way he moves really makes the emote stick out. And the Clue emote will generate a blue holographic version of the Clue, which is basically a nod to the Cantina band at the Mos Eisley uh, Cantina from A New Hope. The Xantha is also pretty cool, it's basically a guitar, and so it really makes your character kind of just look like a rock singer, he even starts to bob his head and once again really get into it. So these are two really cool emotes, they used to sell for way less, like you could get them for 30-40k, uh, now unfortunately they do sell for a little bit more, but hey it's still a super affordable price for the, for the awesome emote that it is. Going on into number 5, we have the Unconvincing Performance. This one is a relatively recent emote. Surprisingly, it sells for pretty high, but once again, it's a really nice one. It sells for like 600, 600k. Uh, basically, your character just acts really drunk while a random assortment of bottles is thrown at you. Uh, super fun to go do in a cantina or something. Pretty awesome for role playing. A lot of role playing opportunities there too, but um, yeah, it's awesome to have it. Surprisingly, it is considered a dance. I mean, you are doing a pretty, uh, apparently, a pretty terrible performance. Number four is probably my second favorite emotes, emote hands down, and this one is Possessed. 
Now, once again, the reason it's not number two on my list is also the price. Uh, similar to the Singamo, it isn't available on the GTN right now, but it is available on the cartel market for 200 cartel coins. And although someone can, you know, theoretically go and buy it from the cartel market, put it up on the GTN, not a lot of people do that anymore. It's just been, it's been on the cartel market for so long. So, um, you probably, if you want the emote, you're gonna have to pay 200 cartel coins for it. But at the end of the day, that is a hefty price for just an emote, but this emote is probably not one that you wanna miss out on. As the emote suggests, your character acts possessed, but the visual, uh, the visual effects are spectacular. Uh, the eyes light up, the red flames erupt, and they envelop your body, and it, what really sells the emote is that it's permanent, meaning once you have activated the emote, it remains on your character until your character moves or you press escape. And as I was talking about earlier, with some of the other emotes, you have to keep typing the emote in the chat in order for your character to keep doing it, but not for this one. So this one is just awesome. I love using it time and time again. Coming in at number three, we have the Mind Prison Spin. Uh, the Mind Prison Spin is a visually spectacular emote, selling for way less than it probably should on the GTN. This emote sells for just under a million credits, when it should probably be going for the two to three, if not more, million credit range. And as you can see from the emote on the, sp on the screen, the visual uh, effects really kind of speak for themselves. It was really surprising because I got this out of a Grand Chance Cube once and I had never checked the price of the emote before. I got really excited. I thought this was like one of those 10, 15 million credit emotes. And then I went and checked the GTN and people were selling it for like 300k. This was a few months ago. And I was just super surprised. I couldn't believe it. One of this is, you know, seeing this go for such a low price was one of the things that kind of put it in my head that I should really do a top 10 emote types of video because, um, Emotes are just one of those cool things to have in the game and I don't think a lot of people actually know about it and know that they're so affordable right now. Coming in at number two is Star Slide. Now this one's a little bit more expensive. This emote is selling for just over a million credits right now. Once again, it actually should probably be selling for more. Uh, you can't go wrong with the Moonwalk. And just like the Possessed emote, this one also stays just after activating it. So once your character does it, he will just continue Moonwalking until you press Escape or you move your character. And if you want to be super realistic, it's a really cool thing to do is just take your character to the edge of something, so to the edge of a railing or something, then activate the emote, and your character will actually moonwalk across the air. It's super cool. Coming in at number one, the Flourish. Now, the Flourish is hands down my favorite emote. It sells for only 375,000 credits right now. It is only a bronze emote. I picked mine up for only 500k a few weeks ago. And the Flourish emote basically activates a Flourish with your weapon. So each type of weapon, whether it's a saber, cannon, rifle, it all, they all have a separate flourish. And I will run through all the flourishes on the screen right now so you can see what they all look like. The double bladed saber and the single bladed saber are probably the nicest flourishes, but the other ones are good too. And given the emote's price and the really nice animation with the weapon, this emote is definitely at the top of my list. And with that, the video comes to its conclusion. Uh, these are my top 10 emotes, which are actually quite affordable. Once again, I did really want to take into account the price. Because I know there are a few other ones that I chose not to include, like Beach Party, Peanut Butter Jelly Time, Gangnam Style One. You know, those would all be uh, probably in other people's top 10 list, but they sell for so much on the GTN. And I wanted to make this affordable for those newer players that, you know, just have a million credits and stuff, but they want to go and get something nice for themselves. So let me know in the comment section what your guys' top 10 list is. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.